How we doing everyone? We're back with KKV TV. We never made a video last week because there was all this stuff that happened, a lot of things went wrong really. Vans breaking down, engines needing replaced. On the back of that, we've got one of the van engines fixed and we've got two new vans on their way. So the time this video comes out, the vans will be here, so we might make a wee video on a van build or something like that that we're doing. But tonight, we're doing a question and answer. You gave us a lot of questions and we're going to answer them all. I think we've narrowed it down to about 20 questions that were quite sensible. So right now I'm just waiting on Gary and Robbie come in and we'll get started. So we're just waiting on Gary. Robbie's here. to yeah. ready to do the q and I just realised the office lady, Beth, she's no in, she's away out. And there's nothing to eat. Nothing to eat. I can't cook. Robbie's just useless. That sounds like that's Gary just pulled up. So what we're on, we're on, what are we on? Uber Just Eats. Eats. Just Eats. Just Eats. Just Eats. I think we'll go for a wee McDonald's. McDonald's, McDonald's it is. What? There's and there's Gary. Right, so we'll get ready to start this any minute now. Hello everyone, well I've already gave you the introduction to the question and answer. This is my little book, we cheat up thing. That Gary and Robbie got me. We'll get off with the first couple of questions eh? Right, so the first one, I think oh, it's pretty man. obvious who this is came from. Gary, I'm not a clue what this is about. Gary, it's not even a question actually, but it's, it's Something maybe he's been asked to do. Gary to sing the Spanish song. I don't even know how to pronounce this. You can't use it? Darius, I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I am not singing it. Not really a question, I suppose. We'll need to get Darius up one day <laughs> no, to no. maybe show us it. Anyway, favourite product to use? Dioshing. Dioshing. Gary? Fancy the car off. Favourite product? Yours, Dioshing. I finish the car off. I finish the car off. That's a quite a hard question. Make your snow foam. Oh, yeah. Something satisfying just a bit snow foam on a car, really. It's, it's good. Some of them smell quite like decent. Well, mine's what me had. Uh, I was like after shoes, great. Mine's a weird one. Biobrisk. Biobrisk. I think Biobrisk smells <laughs> amazing. So, Biobrisk is basically see if you've spilt something and it's got a really bad smell in your car, use some of that and. Uh, takes the bad smell away. It's, it is, it's good. It's quite it's a, nice. it's such a fresh smell. Really eh? Funny though, but if you're using that, you can't make always be in a hill. I'm not going to finish the car off. I'm going to bring it in the bio brisket and you're, you're laughing like... You're so laughing. Yeah. Oh, what a tool. Right, I've got one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hopefully <laughs> 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 we've got to like three. Is it true Robbie is the best valetor at KKV? Yes. I'd say Robbie's <laughs> probably the third best valetor. So, personally, I'd say third. I'd say it's honestly me, Mikey, Robbie Kyle. <laughs> 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 right, so I don't know. Right, in, that, in that order. In that order, right, well. I'm not having that. I would say I'm the best. I agree with that one. I'm the teacher. I've taught you. Taught you. I've taught Gary. I suppose. I, I kind of taught Gary. He's better than you. I showed him one day and then they used to come over. Kim Watt, since we're all just going to sit and argue about this all day, we'll just say Kim Watt, Mikey's the best battle here at KKV. Oh, Mikey, son. Since he's like 60 and over. <laughs> so uh, he's got the most experience under his belt. <laughs> Who's the number one editor in the game? Right, so editor, obviously, video editor. Video editor. It's always good to give your pals a wee plug. So it is arc editing. So even if it's car and related or any other relation of video editing, give Arc Editing a follow on Facebook, social media, he's even on YouTube as well doing his own thing, as well as helping everybody else get on the, the YouTube game as well, so give him a follow. Again, Connor, that wasn't even a question, mate, that was just a wee shout out for yourself. Basically. Bye. Ah, you're going to get pals a wee puck here and there, eh? it's good. Oh, this is oh. quite a saucy one, this like, could, could upset a few folk. Is it true that KKV are the best Valentine team in Edinburgh. I did I did not ask myself that question. That did genuinely come from someone. I can't I why no? Why not? You you'd be weird not to big yourself up. We are the best in Edinburgh, end off. Although there is a lot of good valors out there as well. What is the favourite car you've ever cleaned? That's a hard one. Um Honestly, I don't know. I've done some really good ones. Could be back to the future though for that. Oh, the DeLorean, I forgot about that, the DeLorean that we done. DeLorean, that was cool, that's going to be up there for us all. I probably said my favourite. Was that actually? That cool, that's definitely. Thing. I want to say, mm, can't say the person, but the Lamborghini, because it was the first supercar I've ever done. See, I like that guy's new car. The GTR. 
Oh, he's, he's VR as well. He's there for watching it. Oh, he's watching it. Of course you're watching it. You can do VR. Yeah. All the Ferrari super fast. Two of two them, a red one and a silver one. We, we don't advertise a lot of the customers because customer privacy and stuff like that, which you have got to respect. But basically, we've got two super fast and a piece on our books. Oh my God, the Stretch Hummer. Hummer. The Stretch Hummer we've done for an event for... Who was it? The, the Mayhem. The Mayhem, the Mayhem run, which we have sponsored this year. That was for some of the Joe the Shore cast yeah. and Love Island cast as well. Was it your favourite or? What your favourite one has been? I'd probably say the orange Lamborghini was mine. I'd probably say the Pista. Pista? Mm. Look at DeLorean. <laughs> yeah, these are DeLoreans. So there you go. What is the worst too clean, long or short dog hair? Short. <clears throat> short. Dog to be short. Is a nightmare. As soon as it's on it. Oh. Hours. You're there for hours. Like long dog hair is a breeze. I was about to say once it's one of it, it's not getting off. But we're that good. It, it comes off. It comes, comes off. Anyway. Long easy. Aye, long's easy. Just put it in a so, pile, hoover it up. Yeah, that was quite a straightforward one. Oh, meeting the dogs is the best part of this job. Oh, hundred yeah, percent. Like Definitely. Like, like if the customer comes to the door with a dog, like the customer gets purely ignored, no. and the dog is getting all the attention. And when she once the dog goes in. It's a bit like dread because you can maybe dunk it in the uh, car. And the fact you forgot to ask what to the customer what we were actually doing <laughs> to this car, so you're taking a guess on it. How did Kyle Knox Valentine start? How did that fluke? <laughs> <laughs> An absolute fluke. Absolute fluke. Showing you some sort of big motivational sort of speech on how it was a struggle and now into a great success. It's as simple as I got my car, I bought a car. It was an absolute wreck, so I got it detailed, machine polished, paint correction, protected and everything else. And then after that, I kept on top of it myself. And it was every Saturday morning at my old job, I'd go in early, clean my car before I started. And that was it, clean for another week. It got to the point where some friends were asking and then friends, parents were asking. And then I was working all weekend cleaning everyone else's cars. So then I bought a van. For my wee caddy, that was a good wee van. My wee caddy van, and I was working full time, fitting tyres, and then at night I would leave there at five o'clock, sit in all the traffic to my customer's job to buy the car on that Monday to Sunday. Gary actually helped me out with a wee part time number. I've decided it was time to take it full time, and then eventually got to it. Like, I'd done like what a month, and it just absolutely rocketed. That was it, like, it was, it was about a month working with Gary, and it absolutely skyrocketed to there and then unfortunately Robbie joined the team <laughs> <laughs> Robbie was itching to leave school and I was being the nice big brother that I am and got Robbie out of school and he will never live that down that is how Kyle Knox Valentin started right so the next question is favourite YouTuber oh favourite YouTuber mm. do you watch YouTube much? I watch a bit of YouTube I don't know I don't know if I have a favourite. I do have a couple. Uh, mine's is probably Yanimize, TGE TV, TMO DJ, he's quite good. And Asheville, this uh, Asheville Aggregates or something, or Asheville Weekly, whatever it's called. But I quite like the. Oh, that's my favourite. Is that all like car detailing? No. Yanimize, that's car related, car wrapping, so it's not to do with car cleaning. Tom, TGE, that's just pure patter. Constantly, uh, like whatever he does, he just records that, which is he's usually quite funny. DMO DJ, that's pretty much the same thing. It's more car related, but they're all probably car related apart from the last one. It's the same situation. He just records himself daily and just uploads stuff, and it's usually quite a good wee watch. The last one, Asheville, that's more for the guy like owns a building company and stuff like that. So it's quite cool just to see what other businesses and stuff are up to as well. So that's that's my one. He can tell we watch the same stuff. I was going to say that's my phone as well, but one more to that, I'm sure it's just Detailing Geek. Oh, Detailing Geek, can never forget, he oh, is good, it's so satisfying. Oh, that's a go, I'll be the scrap. You want to get it? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, rob me, man, what are you? <laughs> I was like, what are you ordering? <laughs> I was like, what are you ordering? Like, Apart from yourselves, who's your favourite other car valetor? Who do you like to watch? I've no mate, I'm in person, but my favourite one is Steve and Chevy at Absolute. I think they've just got <laughs> I think they've just got quality patter, the work's great and it's like a good laugh to be fair. Some of the stuff Steve comes out with is brilliant. Darren is 
funny who? Who? The, 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 the doctor. Oh, the, the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor valet. And stories are a good laugh sometimes. <laughs> uh, that's true. Who inspires you the most? <clears throat> And what, Valentine? Hey, general. Just general, who inspires you to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way. No, he's not. He is not. I don't know, I have quite like a few folk. I've actually just followed them for quite a while, which is Tom Hartley, car salesman. I bought his book, read that, and to see the journey he's been on and just how he was straight off the cuff and confident, and it sort of gave me ideas for my own business on how I should maybe act and whatever. So that's that's in dreams to buy a car off of him. Also Yanim Yanimai. Yanni at Yanimai's as well. He's more social media clever and that's would say he's probably one of the other ones that inspire me definitely to keep pushing. What brand of products do we use the most? <laughs> How's that funny? <laughs> <laughs> it's just got you straight to Why is that funny? Why is that funny? Why is What's that funny, funny about that, Robert? What brand of products do you use the most? <laughs> just, uh, just, yeah. You want to come why this is quite funny, right? Why is this funny? Because we don't we read over the, the, the questions before we started this video <laughs> and Ro I, I said to Robert, I went, What's your favourite brand of product to use? And he went, Tire Shine. <laughs> <laughs> It's not that funny, but it was a, uh, you, you had to be here moment. It was quite funny. So it took him a few seconds and I read them again and again until I realised, oh, right. Uh, and then he said, what are you like? It's a long day, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. So again, Robbie, what brand of products do we use the most? Fashion. <laughs> I think I'd say Infinity Wax. I'd say Infinity Wax. Actually, to be completely honest, it is mixed. Oh, it's, it's massively mixed. mixed. Right. We've not got one, one like supplier. I'd say it's between even Auto Smart, a lot of like yeah. valors and detailers out there. I don't know why, because this is where they start off. It's just like, no way to use Auto Smart. Of course we use it. Why not? It's got some really good stuff. I'm not saying it all is good, but some of the stuff is really good. Another one we go to is Infinity Wax, the <coughs> like snow foam, like shampoos. Um, right. All purpose cleaner, there's loads. Would you like more fleet work? Tintin. Maybe. It depends. If the right thing came up and it was it was decent work. Well, I'd absolutely love to. So if you've got 20 <laughs> vans, I will guarantee these guys will start at 8 and they'll be finished before lunchtime. Nah, we've done, we did do a lot of fleet work at one point, eh? We, we, done still do. we still do a, a good bit of it. It got to the point where it was just getting unorganised and it was actually wasting our time and wasting the business's time and it was just, wasn't it working? So it was one of them, sometimes you've got to cut ties with people just to make the customer and ourselves lives a bit easier, but would we like more fleet work? It really depends. It uh, does, it depends what it is, what you've got. We were... Ronnie, boy! Ah, uh, that's sharp, so. <laughs> Oh, look at us. Come here then. You've been outside. We've got the KTV mascot, look. See all the other... Look, all the YouTube. <laughs> hey, oh, no, it's not it's camera shy. Yeah. What made you start YouTube? That's a question for you, eh? Ah, because I just decided, eh? Yeah, I just decided. Camera chucked in her face. Ah, that's it. Basically, I just got a camera chucked in her face. It was like, film. <laughs> Basically, it was actually my mate Connor at Arc Editing. He was just telling me about how he feels a lot of YouTube and video stuff is the way forward in business, which I totally agree it is. And it's something different that no one really around our area is doing, giving out the kind of content that we're giving as well. Because a lot of the YouTube videos, it's, it's quite boring. It, some of them really are boring. It's too serious. So that's why we sort of just wanted to create a channel where we show you what we do and just have a laugh with it. So yeah, that's uh, it was just something different, something for people to maybe have a wee bit of a laugh about and see what we're all about every day. Just a bit can we just see us clean the car and uh, go away again? That's it, we've actually had some customers already comment on about how they never knew we've had such a laugh whilst on the job. It's a good quality job and, you're, and we're having a bit of fun whilst doing it as well. So it's, for me, that's what it's all about. If people work in fun there, with me, whatever, and enjoying it and having fun, I didn't see, I think it's great. 
that's my opinion, better than turning up to your work and it's just like, oh, carry boards, you know what I mean? How the hell do you strike carpets? It's a secret. Cannot tell you, because if they do, then you'll just do it in and then we'll come back to us. Who's the best at striping oh, carpets? That is so easy. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of them, it's not really, how can you go you wrong? You can't be better. You uh, can't, like, it's so, it's very basic. The best thing I've done is literally, quick as you can, uh, minute. Definitely. Make some funky body movements. <laughs> no, <it> should, <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> some people do some really cool stuff with the mats, to be fair. But personally, I'd like, don't get me wrong, you can go daft and make all these rad shapes on carpets, but I just feel keeping it simple with the lines, it just looks neat. Kind of what people uh, are doing, like all these rad shapes, but it, it doesn't look a mess, but I just think it looks tidier with just simple lines across your carpet. Kyle, is it good working with your dad? Yes. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Next question, we'll on. <laughs> nah, eh, well, I've worked with him since I was 16. He got me a job at his work. When I was 16, I wanted to leave school. I hated school. He gave me a job fitting tires, which I actually really enjoyed. And then I never actually had any intention just starting a car battle business at that point ever. I was just, I was just chuffed to get out of school and get a job. So I've worked with him since I was 16. I think we only never worked with each other for, what, two years maybe? Two or three years? Eventually, our, the work that I was at with my dad, it moved. A lot of the team sort of, like, because we worked in, like, a big team. It wasn't just me and my dad. And a lot of the team started just, like, falling apart here and there. And people were leaving. And then it got to a point I was fed up. So I left. And now, <laughs> big Mikey boy who now works with us. Loving it. Nice. Yeah, he's loving it because he took all the easy cars. <laughs> <laughs> he's took most of the maintenance work, but at, like, 60-year-old, what do you expect? <laughs> People are watching. Okay, people are watching. I think he says he's no 60. He is a young 50. Me and my dad, Mikey, are quicker than these two. Certainly. Yeah. Well, actually, to be honest, me and you are the fastest. Ah, like, we no, no, me and Mikey are going really quick. Me and Mikey are quick. Me and you. Nah, me and Mikey are the best. I reckon we've got a race coming soon. Oh, <laughs> Gary, this was oh, aimed at you. Damn, man, what is it? Gary, how many costas do you have a week? <laughs> that depends on how much time we've got. His wages worth. <laughs> uh, 10% of the wages does go to costa, I think. I would say we're saying average 5 to 15. <laughs> <laughs> five that's, to that's, 15. that's the margin we're going with. Five oh, to yeah, you never actually got involved in the debate of what coffee do you prefer now? <laughs> oh, Maybe right. you know what we were sitting arguing about. Oh, it has to be costa. Has to be costa. I think Starbucks are like a white chocolate mocha. That's amazing. But apart from that, it's costa. What so did you say? What did you say? Like? Who the kettle? Who the kettle? Oh, weird away. No, 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 no. Who no, the because kettle? if I could, uh, that's not even grab option. one of your KKV fancy mugs. If I made you both one of the kettle, actually, I've got coffee bags. So we're moving up in the world. Coffee bags. You need to try them before you go. Well, like a tea bag. Like a tea bag, but coffee. Just that's that's elite. Saying. Just saying. You've made us a coffee. Guy, I actually got coffee from McDonald's. That's your <laughs> 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 No, never. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Funniest moment at KKV. <laughs> oh, God, man. <laughs> 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 well, they've clearly got one. Now, what's what's the, actually? What's your funniest moment? Wait, you've you both got it and you didn't even say that? No, I didn't, I didn't find it funny. But he did, but I hung myself. Oh, I can't like, one mind now, actually. <laughs> My funniest moment is when I ran over Robbie's foot. <laughs> like, people will think that is too far, <laughs> but it was in a wee lotus. It did hurt him, yes. He's lying. He continued on with the day's work. <laughs> and I thought it was hilarious, and he didn't, eh? but it was the fact. See, if he never said nothing, right, it would have been over quicker because he shouted, KO! And I was like. <laughs> I, I, I jumped on the brakes and went, what? Whilst I'm on the brakes, his foot is under the wheel. Oh, jeez. That was not funny. That just sounds like a gun. Now, oh, oh, that was a gun, right? That was not funny. Tell them. No, you tell them. It's funny when you tell them. It definitely that is. So it's a busy, cold winter day here at KKV. I've got a wee bit of a sweet tooth and... Uh, a wee bit? <laughs> I've only had like five bars of chocolate, I've got six packets of this. So we're sitting in the van, I think we're on, we're on the bypass, weren't we? We were actually waiting inside the customer's gate. I drove through the bypass, got to the customer's gate, and I was like to Robbie, I crack open the sweets, getting ready just to put it in the first gear to, to move. So Robbie, trying to 
like open this bag of sweets, which really shouldn't you shouldn't have to open it like that. It's just a wee tear. It'd be perfect. It's quite hard to open. A wee tear would have done it. A little tiny wee tear would have. How he's still grudging this? Oh, he's got replaced them, mate. I bought two packets after it. Two. That was it. Well, that makes up for the one that. Pounds two for a pound. Oh, it's just cheap. So anyway, we're at the customer's gate. Robbie, like a maniac, trying to rip open this packet of squashes. Bang! The bag opens. Like that. Now you can just imagine what happened next. It was raining squashes inside the van. Every single one ended up on the floor. Bear in mind, we couldn't eat, pick them up and eat them, which Robbie usually would. Uh, because it was winter, the mats were ringing and everything, and it was just an absolute disaster. Gary, come on, say it before we move on to the next question. It isn't funny, we had to be there. So basically, me and Robbie just started working together, and we were quite serious. There was no part of the tour, right? And we had a job, and I were going to move the van forward a bit. And he goes, I know what he's dead serious. Go to jump in the van, misses the step. No, I'll do that, I'll do that. You don't have the story. Come on. It's not funny, you just missed the step. It's just not funny, but it was just going to tell us it. Right, so you missed the step. What happened after that? He just went, he was being so serious. You know, we can just start working together. And he f***ed it. He basically f***ed it. I think I actually stood on it, but I slipped off. But I just, like, I folded. <laughs> and, and that's like, yeah, it's not even funny. Like, people watching that are going, what? Yeah, but that is not Conversation. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 that People would just corner, just take that away, mate. Favorite part of the job? I already said mine earlier, meeting the dogs. Meeting the dogs? Meeting the dogs, I'm sure. It's the freedom of the job. You're going to go to different places all day, meeting new people. I mean, people what you meet? It's, uh, it's, it's, scary. Uh, it's mad, it's good, it's great. I just, I don't know, I just enjoy the freedom of the job, to be honest. Because before, I started it when I was putting tires. I took a job in an office and it just, I was like, whoa, like, it's no my sort of thing. So I just felt like I was stuck in the office for like eight hours a day. I was like, this isn't for me. And then when I started Valet and it was just the fact that like, it was actually the wee things like, going to the shop for a coffee. Like, whatever <laughs> yeah, time of day. Like uh, no, but you know what I mean? Just wee things like that. That's, I don't know, just the freedom really. Very satisfying job as well. Very satisfying. You've got an absolute howl in a car. And you look back at it once you finish, you're like, that's something. Aye, well, that's, I, aye, that's it. I'm good at my job. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am good. Probably the favourite and least favourite is working outside. Mm. Comes I worked in retail. That's true. Cool. Absolutely in the same building. Aye. I get that, I do get that. That is probably the hardest part of it, Joe. Okay. We have got one more. How oh, is that a good one? It's not bad, not bad. The worst car you guys have done? That's a question for me and you, You can't really answer that. I can't answer that. I think you can't really start easy, to be honest. No, the worst, <laughs> no. I just realised what you said, the worst car I <laughs> made that accidentally said it to the customer. Accidentally, this is when I was starting out, it was a total mistake. Still new to the job. <laughs> I was still new to the job. The customer came and said, a lot of customers say this, but she turned around and says, uh, is this the worst, worst car you've ever done? Usually I didn't agree with them. Uh, and I turned around, oh, definitely the worst car I've ever seen, <laughs> right to the customer's face. Oh God. I never actually realised until like months later that I had said it. Because she mentioned that again. Ah, right, she mentioned that again. <laughs> now that we've done it so long, I can't pick a worse car, or really, and then, because you get some that are like, oh, Robbie Kim, can you? I'm even classing that as a car, that was just a write-off. Who? Oh, oh two spare hours. Oh, oh, it was like two hours on it, and then we got rained off. And then we came back on the Saturday, after spent another three, spent another three five hours. Five hours to clean a car. <sighs> oh. What was it booked in for, can I just ask? Seat shampoo. shampoo. Oh, seat shampoo, so and it was got a deep cleaning of everything like that, to be fair. Yeah, but I should only take in. I worked the two hours, no five uh, hours. Sure, no five hours, that's quite I mean, if anything you could think that was in that, was in it. Yeah, there was like tar on the roof and everything. Like it was seriously, it was mental. I think, I don't want to say what they used it for because that kid, <laughs> again, we could definitely watch him, but I, that's quality. Yeah, it's not quality. Aye, it was quality because I was <laughs> there, but aye. I think that's probably the worst. There have been a few absolute stinkers. There has been, we've had quite a few bad ones. Is there anyone who has spider in it? It's just too Oh bad. my God, remember we done that? There were spiders running about this car. I was flapping. Can I find funny as well? He would say, oh, it's just a spider, get on with it. <laughs> but he tell me to get it. <laughs> Robin grabbed it. But I, I go to the point here, you were 
bricking it to open a wee yeah. compartment because you're like, there has got to be a family there. We're big spiders. Aye, mate, this was horrendous. We done it, we did do it, but oh, I had to like aim for a shower and everything because it just felt, oh, minging. I honestly don't know where the, like, because it was, it was a car that was just left and abandoned, basically. And it was getting put back on the road, but it was a good transformation. It was like mega, so it was good to do. But aye, it was one of them. It had been left for years. Aye, this has actually turned out like a wee bit like a podcast rather than a Q and A. Definitely need to get Darius in for that. Darius, I'm so sorry. I'm almost like a song on camera. I'll FaceTime you later. That's quite good. That was fun. That was quite funny. Something different rather than the daily life when we're out in the freezing cold. Anyway, before this gets us just sitting here all night chatting, absolute nonsense. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Cheers. Pick up the phone and start dialing. Pick up the phone and start dialing.